Hey, if you're new here, then welcome to my channel, Flashback Videos. I really hope you like what I'm going to show you today. And of course, if you're a regular here, then a big thank you for coming back. You have no idea how much it means to me. Unlike some other then and now channels, I'm not into clickbait style thumbnails and stuff. I try to make sure whatever I put in my videos is true. I don't always get it right, but I do try. If I do get anything wrong, feel free to let me know. I'm not too proud to be corrected, and there's plenty of people out there that know lots more than I do. Okay, so today's flashback movie is the airline-based thriller from 2012, Flight. About the investigation into the pilot of a commercial airliner following a crash landing. We're going to be looking a little at the background of the movie, what it's about, and who the stars were. Of course, I'm not going to include everyone that was in the movie. I mean, that would take like forever. As usual, if you like what you see, please consider giving a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then you could even subscribe to the channel if you want. I mean, it doesn't cost anything. And you would get to see more of my videos when I release them. And it would really help inspire me to keep on making them. Now, those of you that have been here before already know this, but I don't just make videos about the most popular movies. Some of them are, how can I say, a little more niche. Anyway, the idea is not just to show what the actors looked like back then and how much they've changed. I also try and give my opinion. Not that I'm any great authority, but hey. What I also do is give you some info on the actors, such as their background, and what other movies and TV shows they've been in. You never know. Maybe it'll get you to watch a movie that you never thought of before. Or not. Okay, so with all that being said, let's do this. Flight was released in November 2012 by Paramount Pictures, with a running time of getting on for two and a half hours. It received two Academy Award nominations for Best Actor and Best Original Screenplay, as well as a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actor in a Motion Picture Drama. The movie was written by John Gattin, and it was directed by Robert Zemeckis. The filming for Flight was done at Hall's Flying Ranch in Georgia, with a budget of just over $30 million, and it went on to gross more than $160 million worldwide. Commercial airline pilot Whit Whitaker has a problem with drugs and alcohol, though so far he's managed to complete his flight safely. His luck runs out when a disastrous mechanical malfunction sends his plane hurtling towards the ground. Whit pulls off a miraculous crash landing that results in only six lives lost. Shaken to the core, Whit vows to get sober. But when the crash investigation exposes his addiction, he finds himself in an even worse situation. This movie starts off with an exciting first 30 minutes, and it's like the climax of an action movie. Then they slow it way down, as we discover that Captain Whit Whitaker is actually an incredible drunk. The change in pace is pretty jarring, and Denzel is not that likeable in this movie. The good news is that the movie does get to an emotional climax. Denzel's acting is its usual first rate. The action at the beginning is really exciting, and the ending is satisfying. The middle is where they needed to pick up the tension, but that was always going to be difficult with such an exciting start. Whoa, whoa. Uh, what is that? The elevator feels really stiff, sir. All right, don't force it. All right, Margaret, Back get everybody strapped back. in. Get everybody strapped in tight. Ladies and gentlemen, turn left hard, sir. Without doubt, one of the main stars, of course, is Denzel Hayes Washington Jr., who plays the part of our hero, William Whip Whitaker Sr., the alcoholic airline pilot who miraculously crash lands his plane after a mechanical failure, saving nearly everyone on board. Washington was born in 1954 in Mount Vernon, New York. He's the middle of three children, and his mother, Lenis, was a beautician, and his father, Denzel Washington Sr., a Pentecostal minister. One of Hollywood's best-known names, Washington has starred in movies as memorable and diverse as Philadelphia, Training Day and The Book of Eli. He actually began his career as a Shakespearean theatre actor and came to prominence during the 80s, appearing in the medical TV drama St. Elsewhere. He won his first Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role as Private Silas Tripp in the Civil War drama Glory in 1989. 
And then in 2001, he won his second Oscar, this time for Best Actor, for his role as corrupt detective Alonzo Harris in the crime thriller Training Day. Denzel has been married to Pauletta Pearson since 1983. They live in Los Angeles and have four children together. Actor and producer Donald Frank Cheadle Jr. was born in Missouri in 1964 and he played the role of Whip's attorney Hugh Lang. Cheadle built his career in the 90s with roles in the likes of The Devil in a Blue Dress, Rosewood and Boogie Nights. His collaboration with director Steven Soderbergh resulted in the films Out of Sight, Traffic and The Oceans Trilogy. Following that, Cheadle was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor for his portrayal of Rwandan hotel manager Paul Russas Bagina in the historical drama film Hotel Rwanda in 2004. He married his longtime partner, actress and Rosewood co-star Bridget Coulter in early 2020. The couple have been together for more than 28 years and have two daughters together. Also born in Missouri, but this time in 1952, John Goodman portrayed Whip's friend and drug dealer, Harling Mays, who picks Whip up from the hospital following his release. Goodman gained international fame for his role as a family patriarch, Dan Connor, in the ABC comedy series Roseanne during the 80s and 90s. He is known as a character actor, having starred in such movies as Raising Arizona, Barton Fink, The Big Lebowski, and Oh Brother, Where Out Thou? He's also had voice roles in numerous animated films, such as Pasha in The Emperor's New Groove, Sully in Disney Pixar's Monsters, Inc., and Baloo in The Jungle Book 2. Beginning in 2018, Goodman reprised his role as Dan Connor with the TV show The Connors, which is kind of like the sequel to the original Roseanne series. Once known for his sizeable frame, Goodman has lost a considerable amount of weight that he says he's through a program of exercise and food journaling. Living in New Orleans, Goodman has been married to Annabeth Hartzog since 1989. The part of the recovering heroin addict Nicole Magan, who Whip first meets in the hospital, is played by English actress Jessica Kelly Siobhan Riley, who was born in Chessington in 1977. For her first professional role, Kelly wrote to the producers of the UK television drama Prime Suspect to ask for work. Needless to say, she was successful and six months later auditioned for a part in 1995's Prime Suspect 4 in a circle. Since then, as well as her role in Flight, Kelly has appeared in the likes of Pride and Prejudice, Eden Lake and as Mary Watson in Sherlock Holmes and its sequel A Game of Shadows. On the small screen, Kelly played the female role of Beth Dutton in the US TV show Yellowstone. She was engaged to actor Jonah Lowden from 2007 to 2009 and went on to marry financier Kyle Bauer in 2012. I think that pretty much covers what you might call the big name actors in the movie, with the odd exception, but we'll get to those. But just like all good movies, there's a whole host of amazing supporting actors that play equally important roles, and we're going to look at those now. Born in Chicago in 1978, American actress and model Nadine Velasquez played Caterina Marquez, the flight attendant who died in the crash and whose funeral Whip attends and with whom he had spent the night before the incident. Nadine is of Puerto Rican descent and after graduating from Notre Dame High School for the Earls, she earned a Bachelor of Arts in Marketing from Columbia College, Chicago in 2001. She's perhaps best known for her roles as Catalina Aruca on My Name is Earl and Sophia Rushin on the sitcom The League, but she has also appeared in other movies such as War and Snitch. Nadine married talent agent Mark Profesero in 2005, but they divorced again in 2011. Actor and stuntman Adam C. Edwards was born Adam Edward Cesaleski in New Jersey in 1979 and played the part of the father on the plane. Despite working side by side with some of the industry's top actors, Edwards has also suffered extreme hardship and homelessness during his career. Some of the movies he's worked on, particularly as a stuntman, include The Hunger Games, Miami Vice, Fast and Furious 7 and The Lovely Bones. Born in Manhattan in 1960, Academy Award winning Melissa Leo played the role of lead NTSB investigator Ellen Block, who, 
during the hearing, commends Whip on his valour and skill. After appearing on several television shows and movies in the 80s, Melissa became a regular on television shows All My Children and The Young Riders. Her breakthrough role came in 1993 as detective and later Sergeant Kay Howard on the television series Homicide, Life on the Street. But she won her Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for her performance as Ellis Eklund Ward in the film The Fighter. Melissa lives in Stone Ridge, New York, and in 1987 she had a son with her former boyfriend, actor John Hurd. Brian Timothy Geraghty was born in New Jersey in 1975 and portrays Whip's co-pilot, Ken Evans, who ends up in a coma after the crash and may never pilot an airplane again. Geraghty is perhaps known for his roles in the movies Jarhead and The Hurt Locker, along with his recurring role in the drama series Boardwalk Empire. Child actor Carter Cabasa played the son of Adam Edwards' character in the movie, which was maybe an even smaller part than that of Edwards. Having only started his acting career in 2010, this was probably his biggest movie to date, but he has appeared in others such as Special Delivery and Nothing Left to Fear. I don't know, maybe we'll hear more of him in the future. Whip's old friend from the Pilots Union, Charlie Anderson, was played by Bruce Greenwood, who was born in Canada in 1956 and is perhaps best known for his role as the American President John F. Kennedy in 13 Days. On television, he starred as Gil Garcetti in The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story, and has appeared in Mad Men, St. Elsewhere, Knott's Landing, and John from Cincinnati. Most recently, he starred as Dr. Randolph Bell in the Amy Holden Jones created medical drama, The Resident. Greenwood is married to Susan Devlin, and they live in Pacific Palisades, California. Actress and stuntwoman Bonnie Yanagisawa played the part of the young flight attendant Camilla Satu, who died in the plane crash. An expert in martial arts, Bonnie is a black belt and opened her own dojo to teach karate. During her career, she has done stunt work for stars such as Halle Berry, Zoe Saldana, Lucy Liu, Vanessa Williams and Eva Mendes. Better known for his work behind the camera, Will Sherrod was born in Florida in 1983 and played Schechter possibly the smallest part in the movie. As I mentioned, Sherrod is best known for his work behind the camera and has been involved in movies such as Bow Wolf, Monster House and A Christmas Carol. Another small part, that of the gaunt young man at the hospital, was played by James Batch Dale, who was born in Manhattan in 1978. At the tender age of 10, Dale was picked out of his fifth grade class in Los Angeles to test for the role of Simon in 1990's Lord of the Flies, a role that he won. After five months on location in beautiful Jamaica, he was returned once again to his schooling in LA. His most well-known parts are in the pivotal supporting role of Trooper Barrigan in The Departed and as Will Travers in the political thriller Rubicon. Born in Pennsylvania in 1959, Tamara Tunney played the part of the more mature, religious flight attendant, Margaret Thomason, who survives the plane crash relatively unscathed. She's best known for her roles as attorney Jessica Griffin on the CBS soap opera As the World Turns, and as medical examiner Melinda Warner in the NBC police drama Law & Order Special Victims Unit. However, Tamara has also appeared in a number of other movies, including Wall Street, Rising Sun and The Devil's Advocate. She was married to Greg Bouquet between 1988 and 1991. Then from 1995 to 2018, she was married to jazz musician Gregory Genere, but they separated in 2015. British broadcaster Piers Stephen Pugh Morgan was born in Guildford in 1965 and plays himself in the movie. In fact, he's shown reporting the incident on the television. Morgan began his Fleet Street career in 1988 as Sun and in 1994, aged just 29, he was appointed editor of the News of the World by Rupert Murdoch, which made him the youngest editor of a British national newspaper in more than half a century. As a television presenter, Morgan has previously hosted the ITV talk show Life Stories, as well as the CNN chat show Piers Morgan Live, which is the show in the movie. As I said at the beginning, 
thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe got something out of it, even if you don't decide to watch the movie. Once again, please don't forget to smash that like button or even subscribe to the channel if you want to. I know I'm not a big YouTube channel with millions of subscribers, but I appreciate each and every one of you who take the time out of your busy day to watch my content. And as long as you do, I'll keep on making videos for you. Know that my thanks go to each and every one of you, and if you ever want me to do a video of a particular movie you love, just let me know in the comments. I read every one of them personally, and always try to answer them.